Hello, and welcome to the next chapter in our ongoing series of tutorials that will help familiarize you and improve your skills with PaintShop Pro Photo X2 Ultimate. In today's short lesson, we're going to cover how to use the high pass sharpen filter. Most digital photos need some level of sharpening because of the softness introduced in the capturing process of digital cameras. Camera movement at the moment of capture can also produce photos in need of sharpening, and digital cameras are more prone than film cameras to producing slightly out of focus photos. In most cases, this problem is easy to fix. Color, tonal, and resizing corrections tend to soften your photo, so it is best to apply any necessary sharpening as a final step before you print, share, or archive your photos. Corel's PaintShop Pro Photo X2 Ultimate provides sharpening commands that improve blurry photos by increasing the contrast of adjacent pixels. Sharpening commands can be applied to a selection, a layer, or the entire photo. The high pass sharpen filter sharpens high frequency details such as edges while ignoring low frequency details such as large structures, gradients, and background colors. So let's get started. First of all, I've opened up an image that will take advantage of a high pass filter. Remember, this is a filter that concentrates on sharpening the edges of an image. I have also opened up the histogram by hitting the F7 key or by going to View, Palettes, Histogram. I won't bother going into the details of what the histogram does in this lesson, but I will tell you that because using a sharpened filter will adjust the image's contrast, we don't want to lose too many lights or too many darks in our image. The histogram will tell us if we've done so. I will now access my high pass sharpen filter by going to the adjust menu, sharpness, high pass sharpen. The first thing you will notice is my before view on the left and my after view on the right that the image has already been adjusted to the default values of my filter. In order to best view the changes you've applied, it's also beneficial to have your image set to 100%. Now, let's see about the other three main adjustments, radius, strength, and blend mode. Radius specifies the distance within which dissimilar pixels are sharpened. The default setting of 10 looks to be giving us a little too much noise in our background. So let's reduce the setting to say around four, and that seems to be much better. Strength simply controls the overall degree of our filter. Our strength setting of 70 is a good fit for this image. The blend mode has three possible choices. Overlay removes the neutral tones in the image and makes edge details stand out. Hard light produces greater contrast than the overlay option. Soft light produces a softer looking photo. For most choices, hard light will work best, but certainly experiment with them on your own images and use the one that best suits the results you're trying to achieve. Now, I will click OK to see our changes and view the final photo. When I undo and redo the changes, you can easily see the improvements PaintShop Pro Photo X2 Ultimate's high pass sharpen filter has accomplished. You will also notice that neither end of the histogram has been clipped so we've also accomplished the correct results there as well. Thanks again, and we'll see you in our next chapter.